Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to insert or add data into MySQL table under this CodeIgniter for CRUD application tutorial series. For insert or add data into MySQL table, first we will make view file and under that file we will make form for fill data and that data will be submitted to CRUD controller method which will process data and insert into MySQL table using model class. Now let's start discussing this topics. So first we have go to crudview.php file and here we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to echo statement with base URL function and under this we have write crud slash add and under anchor text we have write create so when we have click on this link then it will redirect to add method of crud controller now we have go to crud controller and here we have make add method under this method we have write return statement with view method and under this method we have write add data so it will load html content of add data.php in browser so for create view file we have right click on views directory and select create new file and under this file we have paste this html skeleton code and save this file with name like addata.php under this file we want to make form for store insert data so here we have write form tag with method is equal to post after this we have write action is equal to php echo statement with base url function and under this we have write crud slash add validation so this form data will be sent to add validation method of crud controller under this form for get name data here we have write input type is equal to text name is equal to name and class is equal to form control same way for store email data here we have write input type is equal to text name is equal to email and class is equal to form control next for store gender data here we have create select tag with name is equal to gender class is equal to form control and under this select tag we have create three option like select gender male or female for submit form data here we have write button tag with type is equal to submit and in button text we have write add so when we have click on this button this form data will be submitted now we have go to crud controller and here we have make add validation method this method will received insert form data request under this method we have write helper function and under this function we have write form and url in array format this function will load code igniter for form and url helper under this method after this we have write dollar error variable is equal to dollar this with validate method this method will performing validation on input data under this method we can define validation rules in array format so in first key we have write input name data and in validation rules we have write required and minimum length 3 so here we have defined this two rules that means this field data is required with minimum length 3 in second key we have write input email field and in validation rules we have write required and valid email so this field data is required and that data must be valid email address for validated gender data in third key we have write gender and in validation rules we have write required so gender field data is required for insert data into MySQL table 
After define validation rules. Now we want to check data has been passed from this validation rules or not. So for this here, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write not operator with dollar error variable. This condition will check, this variable has some data or not, if this variable has some data, then it will execute if block of code, and data is not pass in validation rules, and it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write echo statement, with view method with two argument, in first argument, we have write add data view file name, and in second argument, we have write error key, with dollar this with validator. So it will again load content of add data dot php view file, with display validation error message on web page. So first display validation error message, we have go to add data dot php file, and here we have write dollar validation variable is equal to slash config slash services class with validation method. This method will provides tools for validating input data. For check name field validation error, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar validation variable with get error message, and under this, we have write input field name. So, if this input field has validation error, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write echo statement, with division tag, with class is equal to alert and alert danger. And between this tag, we have write dollar validation variable, with get error method, and under this, we have write name, so it will display name input field validation error. For check email input field validation error, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar validation variable with get error message, and under this, we have write input field name email. So, if email input field has validation error, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write echo statement with division tag with class is equal to bootstrap alert and alert danger class. And between this tag, we have write dollar validation variable, with get error method, and under this, we have write email, so it will display email input field validation error. For check gender field validation error, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write, dollar validation variable with get error message and under this we have write select box field name gender so if gender select box field has validation error then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with division tag with class is equal to bootstrap alert and alert danger class. And between this tag, we have write dollar validation variable with get error method, and under this, we have write gender, so it will display gender select box field validation error. After define validation error, we have again go to add validation method of CRUD controller. And here we have write dollar crud model variable is equal to new crud model class. Below this, we have write dollar crud model variable with save method. This method will store defined data in MySQL user table. So under this method, we can define data in array format. So in first key, we have write name, and in value, we have write dollar this with request object, with get variable method, and under this, we have write name, so here we have define name input field value. 
for define email input field data. So in second key, we have write email, and in value, we have write dollar this, with request object, with get variable method, and under this, we have write email. For define gender select box data, so in third key, we have write gender, and in value, we have write dollar this, with request object, with get variable method, and under this, we have write gender. So this way, we have defined data under this save method, and this method will insert data into MySQL user table. After this, we want to display success message on web page. So in Codigita 4 framework, we will use flash message, which has been stored in session. So for initialize session library, we have write dollar session variable is equal to slash config folder slash services class with session method. After initialize session library, now we want to store message in flash data. So here we have write dollar session variable with set flash data method with two argument. In first argument, we have flash data name success and in second argument, we have write message like user data added. Next, we want to redirect page to list of user data page. So here we have write return statement with dollar this variable with response object with redirect method. And under this method, we have write site URL function and under this function, we have write slash crud so it will redirect page to crud controller index method. Lastly, we want to display flash data message on web page. So we have go to crud view.php file, and here first we want to initialize session library. So here we have write dollar session variable is equal to slash config slash services class with session method. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar session with get flash data method, and under this, we have write success, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write echo statement, with division tag with class is equal to alert and alert success, and between this tag, we have write dollar session variable with get flash data method and under this we have write success so this method will display success message on web page so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser friends first we have refresh web page and after refresh of web page here we can see user table data has been display on web page in html table format and about table we can see add button for add new record in database. So, we have click on this button, after click on this button, here we can see that new page has been load, and under this we can see field like name, email and gender with submit button. First we want to check validation is working or not, so we have click on submit button, after click on submit button, here on web page, we can see validation error. So here code igniter for validation is working properly. Now we want to insert data. So we have fill form with data. After filling a form with data, we have click on submit button. And after click on submit button, here page has been redirect to data list page. And here we can see success message on web page, and below it we can see last inserted data. So in this part, we have learned how to insert data into MySQL table, under this code igniter for framework, with form data validation, and in next part, we will learn how to update or edit MySQL table data, under this code igniter for framework. Lastly. If you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, 
please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also and lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorial